Hello there, sir. Hello, Jason. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm really good. Thanks for asking. Are you ready to roll? I think I'm ready. Okay. I can see and hear you, so let's jump in. Let's do it. Welcome to Just Curious Media. This is That's a Crime. I'm Jason Connell. And I'm Sal Rodriguez. All right, Sal. We are back with another crime. Yeah, and I think we're covering new ground here, if I'm not mistaken, we to be specific. Yeah. Are covering some new ground. Yeah. I'm really excited to do this. I came across this crime last week, saved it for us. Because today we're breaking down the true crime story of the New York City lawyer uses chat GPT to file bogus court documents in 2023. It was only a matter of time, Sal, before Chat GPT got into got into this crime. Oh, I know. Oh, sure. Exactly. It was only a matter of time. And I oh. have a lot. I, I, I got opinions on, on, on AI. Oh, I got well, opinions. Do tell. I absolutely do. I, you know, I, the, the feelings are mixed. Uh, okay. as, 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 a, as a writer, as a person who identifies as a writer, I have seen friends use ChatGPT to mm. literally write stories. And I read one of them. One of them, a friend fantastic. of mine. Yeah. They made a ChatGPT story about me and it was fantastic. Wow. And it's particularly fantastic that a human did not write it. Okay. You know, but the problem is I was like, you know what? Get this thing away from me. <laughs> like I didn't want it. You know what I mean? Like yes. I, I, I was repulsed by it, but at the same time intrigued and impressed by it. Yeah. Uh, I am very intrigued and I have been for years and years and years. When I saw the movie, her Spike Jones movie, very good. It was so ahead of its time. It dealt with like AI. And he, this guy fell in love with his AI that was an assistant, but it was like Scarlett Johansson's voice. Mm -hmm. So he connected and you could really see that movie really planted a seed like, wow, this is gonna come around. There'll be a time you could just tell this bot to do stuff and it does it. I mean, more than chat GPT is doing now. I mean, like you're a real assistant, like, hey, schedule that and do this. And, you know, and that starts to happen. It's only a matter of time. But for all the newbies who have not heard of chat GPT, I want to give a definition, if yeah, I may. Good. Yeah, yeah, please do. Chat GPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by, developed by OpenAI and released in November 2022. So- so very young. Sal. So new, man. So, so new. new. <laughs> the name Chat GPT combines chat, referring to its chatbot functionality, and GPT, which stands for Generative Pre Trained Transformer, a type of large language model. I've never heard of that. So that's the combination. And they've really been the front runner in this space because also it is free. You can go on, much like Google is free. Like, oh, oh my it is gosh. free. I didn't know that. I thought you had to have a, a there subscription. There is a or, pay, or pay model for an app. to do more. It is free okay. to log in. I got an account months ago. The oh. app just came out more recently. So yeah. download it now. In fact, pause the podcast out. Down, no, we'll do it later. But that's what it is. It is free and it is fascinating. It, it truly is. And so, wait a second, Jason. Have you been using Chat GPT? It wrote tonight's script. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, it did not. Uh, but I've used it in certain ways. You know, I am fascinated by AI. I saw something before ChatGPT came on the scene. There was like another bot or an app that you could, it does its travel. It does your travel plans for you. Like I'm going to Greece, tell me what to do. And it will outline everything you need to see, the, you know, how you get there. I was like, now that's clever. That's cutting some time out. So you know, my, you know, my ears have been like, you know, listening. I've, I've been perking up like what's what's new. And then chat GPT comes out. It's like, OK, this is a front runner. And now you're going to see things coming out with chat GPT powering it. Like, yeah, we have these cool systems, but chat GPT is our, you know, our back engine, if you will. Sure, sure. I'm seeing that already. Yeah. Like, so, but Jason. Yeah. Jason, I, I'm sorry, but if you're going to if you're going to reference uh, a movie like her. Yes. Then I will have to see your her and raise you Ryan Gosling, Lars and the Real Girl. Yes. So we will see. See, that's what I'm talking about yeah. when I talk about the fears of AI. You know, it's like once AI merges with other worlds, yeah. 
then that's when things will get uh, really. I'm gonna see your Ryan Gosling film and throw at you Terminator. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I think that any person. And it's not far fetched if you understand tech and watch how things are going. It's yeah. not so far fetched that those horrible things could possibly happen. No, it is not. They could take everything you've ever given them and learn from it. And if they're powerful creatures and not just a computer, and even if they're a computer, they can start doing things. Sure, there's that demise. There's no doubt. But I tend to think positive <laughs> i want to stay in this lane i believe in autonomous cars i think they're safer for the roads i love driving and i think it's a better world if we have autonomous cars well wow. no drunk driving nobody's speeding to get around you no crazy teenagers like it's like you're just and you could reimagine a car it doesn't have to be laid out that way. It could have like a workspace, a lounging area. Like there's a lot of things that start coming into play. And I really thought we were on the verge of it. And like, that's no longer on the forefront. Like what's going, what happened to those things? So a lot of things are happening. It's exciting. And this crime is one of many to come that deal with chat GPT or artificial, artificial intelligence as a whole. Sure. So let's delve into the crime. Yeah, shall we? Okay. So Stephen Schwartz, a New York City lawyer at the respected Tribeca firm, Ladau, Ladau, and Oberman admitted citing several bogus lawsuits he claimed bolstered his case because he used chat GBT to help write a federal court filing. Not a good idea. To be relied on this new technology, excuse me, this new technology. Sal, when did it come out again? November of 2022. And <laughs> I'm going to go and do a federal court filing, trusting all that be with chat GPT. Not the best decision. Just going to no, say that well, right now. But, but look, somewhere between you and me and like how you feel about AI, how I feel about AI, is a person like this that I would consider... There's only two things. Either he did this intentionally with uh, some sort of, uh, you know, sketchiness or no. it was accidental. If he yeah. did it accidentally, like he didn't think it was wrong or didn't think he should do it um, kind of gullible. Then would this guy be gullible? Like, why would a person put so much trust in something that came out in November of 2022? Well, some people may think it's like Google. If I type in a bunch of things, Google's going to tell me all these options and I grab one. So they probably think it's consolidating in the internet. It's consolidating the internet. Everything in there is real. It can't think for itself. Not so fast. I mean, ChatGPT has been out since November 2022. Everything fed into it, it's made it smarter. It's to everybody plugging stuff in. But it Jason, we have to rely on we have to rely on the fact that everything that ChatGPT is pulling from is is truthful, and is this truthful. is what we find that it's not. You can't rely on Wikipedia. People no, can go exactly. on there exactly and, and say, "Well, no, I did this, that, and the other," and it's taking it, and it doesn't know those things yet. Probably, I mean, maybe yeah. it does, maybe it doesn't. But there, there's there's that uh, vagueness, like I don't know, is that fact or fiction? I don't know. Sure. Well. The blunder came to light after Schwartz's legal partner, Peter Laduca, filed a lawsuit against the Colombian airline. Here we go. What fun word to say. Avanca, Avanca, no, sorry. Avi, Avianca. Try that again. The Colombian airline Avianca on behalf of Robert Mata who was allegedly injured when a metal serving cart struck his knee on the flight to New York City. Now, Sal, I this happened so many times. I'm not short, six, sure. two and a half. I yeah. usually take the aisle and there's been some times where you're just kind of dozing off or you're focused on something else and that sure. freaking cart comes and bangs you. Yeah. But it never occurred to me to file a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what, Jason? Maybe it should. Uh, I have a friend. <laughs> Dang it. I have a friend who was recent. He worked at Sam's Club. Yeah. Um, yep. yeah, I think he's stocking boxes. I think. Like Costco. Uh, yeah. Some, yeah. It's like that. So somebody, another employee in a forklift hit him, hit him on a little forklift. Well, that, okay. This is, that could kill him. Okay. Apparently it didn't. And I think he was okay. And I don't know, know if he had any Apparently serious Apparently it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think he returned to work a few weeks later, but the point is 
I think that as soon as a forklift were to hit me, I'm grabbing the neck. Yeah. I'm grabbing the neck. Yeah, I'm, back. I'm, my back, my neck, you know? My neck and my so, back. Yeah. My back and my maybe neck. As, maybe as soon as a cart hits me, my knee, I, I tore a meniscus. I tore a meniscus. I would like to know more information about this suit because we don't have any, but I thought that that was really interesting. Like, okay, what kind of, how bad could this have been? You know, but anyway, sure. that aside, you know, that's not the point to, for this story. When the airline's lawyers asked the court to toss the suit, that'd be my luck. I finally do it. Sure. That's out of here. Schwartz filed a brief that supposedly cited more than a half dozen relevant cases. And so this is what we're getting to. Yeah, right here. So the problem being the cases that were brought forth, <laughs> such as Miller versus United Airlines. Maybe it's another card incident. Sure. Peterson versus Iran Air. Mm. Yeah. And oh, that was, yeah, the Peterson versus uh, Iran you Air. That. You like, read about that. Yeah, yeah. It was one of the uh, lar larger people. They wanted to have to pay for two seats. That was it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And Vargas versus China Southern Airlines were all completely fabricated by Chat GPT. Uh, Back to your story okay. written by Chat GPT. It knows how to write fiction. Okay, so um there was um uh geez, I I just lost I, I lost track right. of a thought, but it had to do with with uh the evils of chat uh, of, of AI. Oh lying, okay, yes. Okay. So they were able to use Chat GPT to go through the captcha, you know the yep. captcha. Yeah. They somehow AI lied to get through the captcha. AI is a liar. Hey. Well, there's that. I don't think Schwartz knew this, Sal. So, this is what Manhattan Federal Judge P. Kevin Castell shared, Sal. The court is presented with an unprecedented circumstance. Six of the submitted cases appear to be bogus judicial decisions with bogus quotes and bogus internal citations. Bogus is said three times, he said. <laughs> three boguses. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's probably like, what have you just, what has this guy brought me? Is this what we're going to start seeing? Yeah, People relying on this technology? I bet you. Well, Judge Castell then called for Schwartz and Laduca to appear for a June 8th hearing to face possible sanctions over the shocking revelations. So this is all very recent. We're still in June. This is all happening. And then in a sworn affidavit, we learned what, Sal? Schwartz admitted that he used chat GPT while compiling the paperwork that Laduca filed saying he relied on the legal opinions provided to him by a source that has revealed itself to be unreliable, and that Schwartz was unaware of the possibility that chat GPT's content could be false. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I mean... think, I mean, look, we expect, if you or I did this, is one thing. This is an attorney. Yeah. Are we not supposed to rely on these people? Aren't they supposed to be smarter than us? Well, maybe not. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, I don't think this was malicious. It was just bad. It was a bad decision. It wasn't well thought out. And I think he assumed everything's in there. It's compiling this for me. It's a, This is so fast. Look at this. This is amazing. Sure. Not knowing it's fake. Now, I am shocked that he plugged this in and it spit out made up things because I've tested ChatGPT. I've tested about our shows. I've given it links to some of our episodes and it can say like, like, Hey, give me, give me a breakdown of this episode of Sal and I, and it gives you like a little synopsis. So it's clever that way. So I am shocked that it came back with these three cases and maybe more that were completely fabricated. I, that really to me is like, huh? Wow. I didn't see, unless he said like, tell me a story. It's like, find cases like this. And it was like, oh yeah, surely he means make up. So that's kind of fascinating. I'm sure in future renditions of AI, it will be able to source material. And like, what are the, you know what I mean? Like you could probably rely on it at some point, but right now it's a, it's, you know, it's a wild, wild West. We don't know what it might spit out. It is so, very wild, wild West. It is the wild, wild West on the web right now. Yeah. Really that, that's the rename it. Yeah. The wild, wild web. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's coin that, Sal. I like it.
So Schwartz also told Judge Castell that he greatly regrets using AI for legal research and will never do so in the future without absolute verification of its authenticity. So I'm not done trying this, but this has to be uh, cleaned up and then I'll use it again. I, yeah, I don't know about that apology, but. Jason, I realized something. It just occurred to me. Uh, by him using chat GPT for this court filing, Mm -hmm. Are they Essentially, liable? Essentially, you're. What's that? Are they liable? Is OpenAI? Well, well, okay, that's a whole another thing that that could be addressed. But you are then not giving work to a paralegal or to a well, legal secretary. Or, hey, there's a lot of jobs that Chat's going to take away. This. Oh, I, on, this is another example. Count of that. on that. This is okay, but okay, but theoretically, a legal secretary or paralegal would have submitted appropriate materials. Yeah. yeah. Not like this. Sal, I am bringing in ChatGPT to co-star some episodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crime. Now co-hosted by ChatGPT. And it, it is like, its voice will just be like mechanical. That's great, Jason. No, like, you know what you can do? You know now, now speaking of all voice. this, they can take a sample of someone's voice. Oh, you'll, you'll it. still be there. It'll, I'll, be it'll the still be me. Chatbot version of you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I do have enough sampling of your all of your words and your dialect in episodes previous. So we're building it behind the scenes now, Sal. And you can make me say anything. You can make Sal and Jason say whatever the hell you want. <laughs> yeah, forget me too. The show will go on. We'll be playing golf and hanging out. That would be interesting. Uh, are, are AI versions working? Is it wasn't that the whole plan for robots? Yeah. Is that the robots do the work and we chill out? Yeah, right? That, that was the plan. That reminds me of multiplicity. AI, AI adjacent. He's yes. makes a clone, which it's not AI, but you're making a clone uh, of yourself. Yes. And a yes. clone of yourself is not as good as the original. So something's a little off. Sure. And then they all get together, his clones, and they make clones. So clones of another clone. And he's completely off it. You know, he's like slow and just kind of crazy. I like it, though. I got to check that out. It sounds oh, it's fun. brilliant. It's a That's brilliant. Michael Keaton, right? Michael Keaton. Harold yeah, Rennes, I got to see that. I haven't seen that. Direct. One. Rest in peace, Harold yeah, rest Um, peace. Anyway, not AI, but adjacent. So as for Peter Laduca, he wrote in an affidavit he was not involved with the malfeasance and had no reason to doubt the authenticity of the case law fabricated in the document. So, so it sounds like Laduca is throwing Schwartz under the bus here, you know, like, hey, help me file this thing for the against this Colombian airline. And like, hey, you're using ChatGPT over there. I, I don't, I'm not looking. I don't want to know. <laughs> it's like, did he really not know? Schwartz would have been like, this is great. It's I'm getting all my cases. He would have been telling everybody in the in the firm. Maybe not, but I'm assuming he'd be so proud of his findings. But Laduke is saying, I, I don't know what he's doing. Nothing Wait, doing. but Jason, we don't know how far into detail Chat GPT went with these no. bogus cases, right? We don't. We should do a special on those cases. Yeah, exactly. Like they each case has its own then bogus, yeah, you know, proceeding story. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, surely there's going to be like uh, some some terrorism if it's on the plane. Maybe there's some terrorism. Who knows? I mean, it'll be a great story, probably. Well, I'll just say this about Laduca. He did add that he had worked with Schwartz for 25 years and never recalled him looking to mislead a court as far as he knew. Sure. So I threw that in. So <laughs> I can't say he did that. <laughs> you threw in as far <laughs> as he knew? Yeah, I always me. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think Laduca is facing any things he could be i don't know where things are at right now if the judge is like okay i gotta you know this is gonna set a precedent you know and maybe it's just a slap on the wrist and yada yada yada, yada. do you lose your license is the firm at you know at risk is chat gpt which i doubt at risk but i'm sure people are probably going oh crap i gotta check my facts i've been doing this <laughs> like this has probably been happening elsewhere and yep. this is a type of case, and maybe there's more coming that can like shine a light and say, hey, this is a cautionary tale. Do your homework. You can use it, but use it as another resource. Sure. Yeah. Right. Do you so, think, do you think, uh, Jason, that I, I think we're legitimately at a time that has come upon us so quickly since November 2022, yeah. where every entity, whether it be a business or any sort of media organization, anybody has to like draft up the AI code of conduct. For their company. Yeah, right? probably. And a lot of companies are trying to get in this business, make it a part of their offering. Like if, you know, there's uh, there's already been like 
robo investors historically. Yes, well, I've heard well, of that. Well, now yeah. investments will be like, oh yeah, you got almost have the brand on your website to look legit and current. And whatever you're doing, you're hosting podcast, great. Use our AI to write wow. your transcripts, not to do your show. Uh, but I did get an email the other day from our host, Buzzsprout, offering an AI add-on component. It did not mention ChatGPT, but AI is everywhere. And it will, I've not used it because I'm not counting on it, but it'll write your, like your uh, headline, the name of your episode. It'll do your show notes and your transcript. We already use an AI service, Otter AI, to do our transcripts. So it's not far-fetched. It's like, oh, yeah, that's just man hours. Throw, throw a, an AI at it. So more and more companies are getting in this industry and trying to figure it out. But you're right about the handbook, for sure. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, you just brought up something I, I hadn't considered, and that is that um, as far as AI, um, I lost my train of thought again. I'm sorry, man. Well, also a movie by Steven Spielberg. AI. What's that one? Way ahead of its time. Artificial yes, exactly. Yeah, I haven't seen. Did I see that one? I did not Written see by that. By Stanley one. Kubrick. You don't have a toy. You don't have an AI toy back there. Oh man. I probably do somewhere around here. I'll have to. I'll have to look yeah. up. All right. No chain of thought. Sorry, we can't spark it. Uh, it was about AI. It was about Chat GPT. Something you. I just triggered something. Yeah, you did. You thought it made me it think. It was of, about of else. Uh, companies getting in this uh, line of work. You know, hey, there's a writer strike going on. Is ChatGPT showing up on uh, oh. Cobra Kai? And no, no, I was. No, I, let's it, hope it's, not. I I think now that you mentioned, I think that AI is something that the Writers Guild is discussing right now. You I'm know, like sure. like what AI is doing to the writing industry itself. And how that's affecting these contracts. So I think that that is a strong component in these in the current writer strike. I believe it. I've actually read, and I don't think they're crimes; they're frowned upon. But how college campuses are failing students because everybody used ChatGPT to do a paper. Okay, so there you go. So and every institution, that, but that's not likely to show up on our show unless it's really a crime. But yes, that is happening. People are counting on it. And so you know, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they test? You know, test things, push the envelope. Why wouldn't you? But well, essentially, you're if if I if I ask somebody, let's say another person to write something for me that's supposed to be completely legitimate. Yeah. Once I get it in my hand, I might I might check it out. I'm gonna double. Aren't I gonna fact check? Right. I've I'm been doing this. It. I I've done myself. I've done movies. I've done anything that I know all the answers to, and it's like it gets a lot right it gets some glaring mistakes as well. Like, oh, wow, I didn't direct that movie. So it, it it's out of nowhere. It's going to make mistakes. But you can use it to, it's fast. And you can just look at it and discern what's fact or fiction. It, it can be a useful tool, but you cannot just turn things over to it and walk away. Ah, it's done. I, I, no. I couldn't. That, that's, I'm too much of a perfectionist to just trust this entity. But, you know, you could say, hey, Speaking of Terminator, synopsis for Terminator, and it's probably going to bang it out perfect. But you sure. but you would know, and you could say, okay, who was in Terminator? But, you know, Schwarzenegger, blah, blah, blah. So check it out. Lance I do know, Jason, that you fact check me. I know you do. If I if you and I ever get into some, no, they said this and they, yeah. and they said that, and I'm insistent, you will still check it out oh, yeah, to make any revisions. Absolutely. You don't just take my word for it. So why would I take AI's word for it? I trust you more than I trust AI. If I'm going to fact check you, I'm going to fact check AI. Hey, fact check everybody. I fact check everybody. <laughs> well, as for this case, this crime, I should say, it is also a case. Schwartz uh, is awaiting, and DeLuca, they are awaiting uh, sentencing or some sort of uh, punishment. I don't know. It could just be, like I said, slap on the wrist. We will see. But it stood out to me the minute I saw this, I thought, oh, my gosh, we have to cover it. It's so timely. And I know, Sal, there will be more of these types of crimes. That on is the absolutely, show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is unfortunately, I believe it'll be the case. And this is, I think, is a wonderful addition to some of our crypto crimes because exactly. we get into the the digital space, the crimes of the digital realm. That's right. That's right. That's all I got, Sal. Unless you have anything else. No, no, I enjoy this. And 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 yeah, I, hey, if I forgot up to mention anything, we will be having another AI crime at some point. Yeah, you're picking so, back up. Yeah, we will be talking about it again.
So that covers the true crime story of the New York City lawyer who uses ChatGPT to file bogus court documents in 2023. So fans of the show, of Just Curious Media, of Let's Talk, no, listen to me, Let's Talk, of That's a Crime, please, please, if you have the time, leave us a five-star review. That's amazing. Or even just the little vote, the little five-star rating on Apple Podcast. It helps the show immensely. That's Wait, all we ask. Jason, Jason. Yes. What's up? Can our listeners go to ChatGPT and say, write a review for Let's Talk Cobra Kai and make it a five-star review and post oh, yes. it to... I mean, can, can they do that? Yes. Holy cow. That's a good call, Sal. Wow. Go to ChatGPT. <laughs> Type of our show. That's a crime. Your thoughts. Let no, and I said, did it. I say let's talk Cobra Kai? Or did I say that's a crime? That's a crime. Okay, thank you. And then go on there and just paste that to Apple. We'd love it. That'd be great. That would be great. But the five star rating is a quick click. It helps our show. We need higher numbers. It just it keeps us going. It helps us stand out in the blue ocean of space. And Sal, tell us what else they can do. We would love for all of our listeners and fans to send us messages, post comments, uh, find us on social media. That's a crime. We are on there. Yes. Reach out to us. Connect with us. Because you know what? There's a lot of exciting things happen. Uh, Jason and I had a wonderful, very long conversation yep. the other day. And there's a lot of wonderful things going on with Just Curious Media, with, with all of our shows, yep. as, as individual shows as well. So a very exciting time. So please be our friends. Continue to listen. Continue to reach out. Leave us those reviews. Post comments. And Keep us engaged with you, and we stay engaged right back. Absolutely. And you can go to justcuriousmedia.com. You can see all of our shows. In fact, if you don't want to go to the app and listen on there, you can actually stream every single episode from our website. We also have new shows in the works. Uh, Doggone is still rel really young, relatively young, but a new show is coming online like this week. I don't want to spoil it, so just go there. And there's some other offerings as well. We're starting to help other people launch podcasts. We're doing some consulting, uh, hosting, voiceover, just ways to grow Just Curious Media. And uh, we love that we have any fans. So we're, we, we want to give to the fans. We're here. We want to keep coming back and just uh, help support us in those ways. And we're greatly appreciative. All right, Sal, until yep. next time. Sounds good. Good night.